it was totally deliberate. And then Zion was not like, okay, you know what, baby, it's okay. I'm going to help out to the kid. I'm like, help for your wounds. Let's go and call the lobsters. And they were like, eh, she's not going to do it. Then let somebody else do it. She did not appreciate my own effort. Anybody else should take up the job. Congratulations on your latest appointment, Minister of Kitchen Affairs. Hey, this season is going to be a very long goal. Guys, <laughs> why is it that in every season, kitchen is always an issue? Kitchen affairs, you know, washing the plates, cooking, keeping the kitchen clean is always an issue. Chinwe is not having it. Baby girl is upset because housemates seem to be taking her for granted. The head of house, which is, by the way, twins, appointed her as a kitchen assistant. And she has been doing her best, you know, making sure that everything is going well in the kitchen. But it's as if house may not want to turn her to maid, okay? They will cook, they will not clean up after themselves. She will go and clean whenever she wants to or she feels like cleaning. And it's actually becoming very frequent that housemates, you know, will finish cooking. They will leave the pot unwashed, you know everywhere untidy as the kitchen assistant she still goes to the kitchen you know try to make everywhere clean all right but it's very unfortunate that today the kitchen was untidy instead of the hoa to go address whoever cooked they came to tell her that if you cannot do your job well they will give it to another person <laughs> and the girl was like i don't understand I go out of my way, you know, to wash the plates, wash the pot, tidy up the kitchen, you know, even when I did not cook, just to make sure that I'm filling my own role as kitchen assistant. She's about cooked and she did not clean. You people did not approach her. You are coming now to come and approach me, telling me if I'm not ready to do my work, to give it to another person. Baby girl was upset. Like, she wasn't having it. To the extent that she even mentioned that, you can imagine, sometimes she'll be doing the whole kitchen uh, thing, and her boyfriend, you know, Zion will come and help her out. Instead of them to be upstairs, cuddling, and doing more something more important, I'm like, yo, baby girl chewing. Like, she kept talking and talking and talking about it. You know, she spoke to Victoria, also went to Sean. You know, she was just, you know, airing aggravation to a lot of persons. I'm like, Chingwe, calm down. He never reached like that. He never reached like that. Baby girl was really, really brewing that issue. I said, baby girl, calm down. No, you never reach like that. And I saw the way she was, you know, somehow focused on the camera. She noticed that the camera was on her. And baby girl had to give us content. <laughs> chiwe, chiwe. Oh, go, go, go. Maybe because you've been here for two weeks, we small shall you, you can't go grab another bit. Now she'll do one kind of funny that. Trust me, eh, it's not worth it. Guys. What do you think about this conversation? Seeing Ozzy and Ozzy advising Zion not to lose guard as regards to his relationship with Chinwe. I'm like, guys, guys, he's not a baby, okay? This is just like damage control. You people offended his girlfriend and all of a sudden you are now here advising him not to lose guard, not to leave his girlfriend. What kind of damage control is that? You see this by the way twin, they are very, very smart and calculated. They don't want to make anybody upset in that house. You know, they are trying to be very logical and diplomatic. But sometimes you could just see the loopholes here and there. Zion, no lose guard, yo. Take their advice. If not, Chingwe is going to tear you to pieces. Moving on, guys. Sean and Wani. These two people. Hey. These people need to go and get a room already because hmm, the tension between these two people is something else. Other housemates will be seated, you know, having conversations with them. You will see both of them, you know, just doing their own thing as if other people are non-existent. Get a room or if you cannot hold body, it's just four days. And Sean and Wani are doing as if they've known each other for eternity. Hey, it shocked me, oh. I really cannot wait. Today's pool party is going to be late. It is going to be going down. Guys, hmm. Sean and Wani, my eyes are on you guys. Um, Wani is really, really serious with this whole ship thing. 
She even went to the kitchen with her sister to make meal for Sean and other housemates. Hey, he's giving premium ship. Sean, I beg, enjoy yourself while it lasts. <laughs> Another interesting gist is Toby. Hey, Toby Frosh. And Mayor Frosh was having conversation, you know. They had conversation about very random things, about housemates. And Toby is not giving up on Cassia which is Kelly Ray's wife. This boy still has his eye on Cassia, although he was complaining that uh, it seemed like Cassia would be a very hard nut to crack. So before I just complained to Toby that hmm, it's as if this girl is going to give her a hard time. Oh. And coupled with the fact that Kelly Ray is always around her, that Kelly Ray is not giving that girl space to breathe. Every time I want to come and meet her, the guy is just there. I'm like, if you knew this guy was Cassia's husband, <laughs> you will not be here saying all these things. Uh, to be first, kept complaining, saying that every time you want to come to speak to Cassia, that Kelly Ray is there. I mean, at first, said, hmm, it, it might just be that the guy is trying to protect is bestie so may of course just advise him that if you know you still want the lady go for her regardless of you know kelly ray always being around her the guy is just protecting his friend and nothing more i'm like hey god i better go person wife <laughs> i'm loving this drama so be fraud of all the ladies in that house now person wife your eyes go but i wonder why to be fresh is so concerned about you know Kelly Ray's presence. If you know you want a lady, go for her now. Ah, uh -uh. put in more energy, put in more in efforts, and get to know her. Don't allow Kelly Ray stop you from meeting your ship in that house. <laughs> oh ma, I cannot wait to see more drama. Toby was so disappointed at the end of the show, seeing that he's actually like falling for somebody's wife. <laughs> <laughs> 